What do you get if you cross from New York to Lisbon? No, it isn't a bout of seasickness. Actually, you'll probably stumble across an archipelago of nine islands, collectively known as the Azores. The what, you may say? Well, to those in the know, the Azores are one of Europe's best kept secrets. Stark, dramatic and remote. These drops in the ocean are indeed just that. The result of epic volcanic eruptions that drove up some of the planet's tallest mountains if measured from their base at the bottom of the Atlantic. Located nearly a thousand miles west of Lisbon, the story of these autonomous islands of the Portuguese Republic can be best told in tandem with a tour around some of the most striking volcanic features in the Atlantic. If you're looking for an adventure, the Azores really does have a huge amount to offer, from the mighty volcano of Pico to the river canyoning of San Jorge. Or, of course, you could pick one from the seven other islands that exist in the archipelago. It may be a difficult decision to make when all the islands have remarkable volcanic landscapes. But most people start with the largest and most populated island, San Miguel. One of the most iconic and picturesque aspects of the volcanoes here are these crater lakes. And what better way to explore them than by kayak? These lakes, like Lagoa de Fogo, in the centre of the island, are surrounded by white sand beaches and temperate laurel forests. Fish species like rainbow trout and carp have been introduced to the lake to balance the ecosystem and protect the clarity of the water. These basins are formed when the cones of volcanoes collapse into the empty chambers that once held magma below. Kayakers are cautioned to avoid the areas that are over-surviving active magma chambers, which can cause the water to boil. The geothermal activity is most prevalent on the surface in Furnas, also on San Miguel Island, which is known as one of the most active hydrological areas in Europe. This really is a spectacular geological feature. All around me is bubbling water and steaming vents. When water collects near pockets of magma in the Earth's crust, it increases the pressure and rises up through the ground, creating these boiling sulfuric hot springs. If the pressure were to increase beyond the current point, these springs would erupt into geysers. The springs and high-altitude lakes are pulled by gravity, feeding a network of rivers. Steep cliffs and slopes turn these rivers into impressive waterfalls, some reaching over 200 metres in height. San Jorge, an island formed by a nearly perfect line of volcanoes, gives those who want a closer look a chance to abseil down these geological features. It isn't easy, but it does give you a unique perspective that can't be seen from the man-made trails. Well, I've come down the Santa Maria River over about half a dozen waterfalls, and now it's time for the grand finale, a 50-metre descent down the waterfall into the Atlantic Ocean. I don't know if I want to laugh or cry. The Azores are full of breathtaking volcanic features, but this is something else. This really is a special place.